Good rising wealthy family and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. So today's video, we are talking about you squared. Yes. Based off of this book by Price Pritchett. Listen, this book changed my life. Changed my freaking life. I read this book maybe seven years ago six seven years ago when I first got it in got it when I first got into um, quantum physics quantum mechanics how that all operates when I first got into that whole world and um, this book caught my eye because one it's so thin it's like 30 something pages right like the, the read is not bad right literally this is a chapter what is it choose a different set of risk right and this is one chapter you turn the page next chapter like it's such an easy book but it's packed packed with information and it's not even uh, expensive I think it was like 18 bucks or something I bought two of them when I did first get it and I gave one away I love doing that with books that I find value in um but this book really broke down quantum leaps for me because I was doing meditations to take quantum leaps and they worked but I wanted to get an effective breakdown of what exactly I had to do to take a quantum leap. And when I did read this book and started applying the principles, my life changed drastically. That's why I'm here with you today, <laughs> okay? But I want to talk about this because we are in a time of acceleration. And if you were ever going to make a quantum change in your life, if you were ever going to make a quantum leap, now is the time to do it. The time is now. The power of now, right? In the words of Eckhart Tolle, okay? That's another book that's really good I got inside. Um, but it, the now, now is all that you have, this present moment, okay? And I wanted to talk about how you can live in the vortex and apply these principles to quantumly change your life. And if you're immediately thinking, I can't do that, then you're in the wrong place. Because here, we don't believe in lack. We only believe in our abundance. And that's the first step to making a quantum leap. Everything is mental. It all starts in the mind. So you have to change your thoughts. Half of the time, people don't do things because they don't feel or believe. They don't think that they can actually do it because they're living in the past and they're basing their experiences off of what has happened before. But if you're doing something different that you've never done before, you're going to get different results. You're going to get something different. So the first step in taking a quantum leap is changing your thought process. You have to drastically change your habits, drastically. So if you're used to waking up at 8 a.m., you have to start waking up earlier. Wake up at 7.30. It doesn't even have to be like major drastic. You don't have to wake up at 5, right? But waking up at 7 or 7.30 and then immediately putting in, in different practices. What I like to do, I wake up usually with a song in my head. And it used to be songs like whatever song I was listening to the day before, I'll wake up and I'll be playing in my mind. But now I have a soundtrack that I instantly play in my mind when I wake up, right? I have something that kind of motivates me. I look over at my vision board, get a good idea of that, right? The feel of the day, I talk to myself. This is what we're going to do today, so we're going to be productive. We're going to be bright. We're going to be energetic. We're going to be happy. Right? I have to remind myself to do these things. <laughs> I do. Right? Then I go in the bathroom. I look in the mirror. I look at my sayings. I love myself. I trust myself. I value myself. I honor myself. Very drastic. Okay? I, you know, do whatever it is else that I need to do in the bathroom. Come out. I get into my state of meditation. And then I go take care of children. So, you know, get son off, my older son off to school. 
um, or if it's, you know, it's summertime, so now get them off to summer camp, get little one up and ready to go, right? If it's days where I'm recording videos, I do that first thing in the morning because that's my business. I want to pour into that before I continue on with my day. If it's days when I have reading scheduled, right, because I only work four days of the week, it, for readings, I only provide my reading services or my angel oracle services, rather, four days a week. So if it's a day where I have that plan, then, you know, I map out, look at my clientele, see what it is. If it's a day where I'm closed or I'm not offering those services, then I move on with my other habits and tasks. Of course, I'm still a mom. I'm still a wife. I'm still me, right? So I have to pour into myself. So I do those things around my home that I have to do. Everything doesn't always have to be a drastic spiritual practice. But I move in the way that I would move if I was the um, person that I envisioned in my mind. So in my mind, billionaire Chanel wakes up, has her tea, makes a smoothie, right? Or she rather billionaire Chanel wakes up, um, talks positivity over herself, looks at the day, right? The present moment, the now. I'm not going back to the uh, past and I'm not worried about the future, okay? I'm living in the present moment. I'm meditating. I'm working actively in my business, providing my service and my gift. That's what I asked to come here to do, so I am on that, right? Billionaire Chanel eats well. I never think that it's too expensive to eat healthy. No, that's a farce, okay? I, I do not buy things if... I look at the label and it has certain ingredients in it. I'm not I, buying it. Dextrose, maltrose, high fructose corn syrup, bioengineered products. I'm not getting it. Okay? I'm eating to live because my health is the only thing that I have to sustain my lifestyle. Yes, thoughts come first, but your body comes second. Your body is the hardware. If your body is broken down, you can't do shit. So billionaire Chanel... The billionaire Chanel that is a billionaire philanthropist who is the wealthiest angel oracle, who is highly sought after public speaker. That Chanel, this Chanel, this that version of me, eats well, talks well, has excellent communication skills, plans out her endeavors. So those are drastic changes. I do not think in the lack. I do not think I can't start a school. Where's that money coming from? How can I get it to that magnitude? I can't have wellness centers. That takes a lot of time and effort. I don't think like that. I don't let those thoughts cross my mind. I'm choosing my risk. What risk am I willing to take? Instead of risking, you know, I have to hold on to this money. I can't pay this bill yet because that's going to put me here. Or I can't leave this situation because if I leave this situation then people are going to be so disappointed in me. I don't think that way. I think okay, if I have the desire or if I if I know I need to pay this bill, if I know that I have this obligation to have a monetary exchange, that means the money is already here. It's coming in. So let me release it so it can circulate back to me to handle the next monetary obligation. That's it. Abundance. It's coming from wherever. It's coming from wherever it's at. Because there's more than enough. I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to be afraid to take certain risks that I, with, I believe in my own abundance. Risk doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Right? Be open. Be vulnerable. Be humble. If I know that I do not feel good around a certain someone, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk my own happiness because I don't want them to feel away or feel that I've been changed up, feel that I'm grand, right? I don't want them to be like, oh, you're a sin of infinite goddess and so now you can't hang it. No, that's not the risk that I'm taking because in actuality and reality, they're only going to feel that way if I project that onto them. But if I say, you know what? I realize that we've had some excellent times, some excellent memories. However, where I am now in life, I'm probably not, I'm not a good fit for where you are in life. And I may be boring as hell because some of the things you want to do or talk about or experience, I don't find that fun anymore. And I'm just going to be a miserable grumpy puss. So I'm going to exit this relationship so that you can be free to invite other people in that are on the same resonance scale as you. And then I can find those that are on the same resonance vibrational scale as me. 
because there's enough out here for everybody. There's friendships out here for everybody. There's relationships out here for everybody. And there's no reason for me trying to hold on to things because of how it is that, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of taking that risk because what if uh, I don't find someone that makes me happy? Or what if you don't find someone that makes you happy and I don't want you to be sad because I love you so much. So I'm going to go ahead and self-sacrifice my happiness. No, that is believing in lack drastic changes. I'm choosing the risk that I'm taking. Instead of risking my own happiness, I'm risking, <laughs> I'm choosing to take the risk that I will find even more happiness somewhere else. Because if you have the desire or a thought process, you're supposed to be moving in that way anyway. But if your mind is constantly centered around lack, around less than, around this is scary, around I can't do this, I shouldn't do this, then you're never going to get it done. If you try to minim minimal, if you try to minimize the amount of risk that you take, or you try to minimize the amount of uh, vulnerability that you have in certain situations, you are lessening the chances for you to take a major leap, a quantum leap. Remember, that's what this is about. We want to make quantum leaps. It doesn't have to be gradual. Your success does not have to be gradual. You've heard people say, oh, overnight I, this happened. But why is it that sometimes these overnight um, miracles or overnight happenstances or happy stances happen and they don't maintain or sustain it's because the thought processes and the actions didn't really match up they were just in a state where they were in a minimal resistance and they were able to receive some um powerful assistance from the ethers from the quantum realm and in that moment in time it flowed through for them perfectly but then here comes their doubt, here comes their lack, here comes their scar scarcity. They're, they got scared about what it is that's happening, what's going on, and boom, that's it, they're done. So now they're reverting back to old habits, right? These drastic changes, you have to anchor them in. You gotta tie them in, right? If you move with full passion, if you move with a full heart, that anchors in your quantum leap. You cannot be lukewarm, you cannot be half-assed, you cannot be doubtful about the things that you're doing. You've got to be passionate. We're moving from our heart chakra, okay? In this time frame that we're in, our heart chakra is the most powerful thing. Your heart is the most powerful thing. Your passions and your desires are the most powerful thing. Your gifts are the most powerful thing. Stop shrinking yourself because you're thinking in the past. The past is done. It's over with. It's done for. It's time to start accelerating in love and in passion. Okay? So, that is that. That's all that I have for you. I don't want to give you too, too much, but what I've given you already is the best way to jumpstart. It's the best way to make drastic changes. Stop taking the same route home. Switch it up. Switch it up. Be drastic and be intentional with your drasticness. Be intentional and fuel it with your passion. And at the end of that, you will see success. I promise you, it's a beautiful thing. And I look forward to seeing the squared version of you, the version of you that took that quantum leap and saw the miracles unfold in front of your eyes. And then you recognized your own power. And you said, never again, never will I go back to that bullshit. Okay, so that's that. That's all that I have for you today, Wealthy Family. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Shout out to you. Thank you, everyone, for liking this video, commenting. I love when y'all comment. You know I do. I answer everyone, okay? So that's it. That's all I have for you today. Be a wonderful person. Have a wonderful day on purpose. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.